God does not delight in the poverty of his people. And so, yeah, you just... Greetings brothers and sisters, welcome to the channel, welcome back to the channel. It is always good to be here with you. It is always good to have you here with me. Thank you again for joining me. Now, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell that you be notified each time I post a new video. Now, let's jump into the video. This man, preacher man here, his name is Marvin Winans. And uh, that little clip, intro short intro at the beginning there he's saying that god doesn't what take delight in his people being poor right no he goes on saying to say a lot of other things and that is how i knew that he was talking about no other than apostle pastor gina jennings he was talking about the apostle and after I play this video, then you can come to the conclusion you're on your own if it is true. If he was talking um, about what the apostle preaches about or not. Just leave it in the comment section there. Let me know. No, he wasn't talking to, about the apostle or, or no, he wasn't talk, dropping word um, for the apostle or yes, he was. Now, many of you will know if you are someone that really watches the broadcast, the First Church broadcast channel and watches the Apostle and listen to his preaching. You would know if what he, uh, Marvin Winers, is about to say in this video that I'm about to play. You will know if he's talking about the Apostle or if he's dropping his word for the Apostle. Now let's listen to this. Listen. I know people misappropriate the scriptures and they'll have you think that God is mad at you if you're rich. It's a tactic. It's a ploy of the enemy. The Lord can bless you with something. We got some testimonies coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, last week, someone came and we'll talked about it, not this Sunday, but maybe the Sunday afterwards been working through something for three years and boom, God gave it to him. Came and got prayer and just kept, you know. Because God does not delight in the poverty of his people. And so, yeah, you just... All they want is to be rich. Most of the people that God called had a job when he called them. And they gave up to come do what God... Hold up, Mr. Man. Please, everyone, correct me if I'm wrong. Did the Bible tell us that all the apostles quit their jobs? Did all the apostles give up their jobs to go and do God's work? Did the apostle did the Bible tell us that? Um, please write it in the comment section and, and let me know. And please give the, the, the verse, the chapter, everything. Hold them. And they gave up to come do what God now they got to worry about you, worried about how much money they got. Her one man of the I work. I got seven children. I work and I don't I don't take nothing from the church. Well, you don't know the Bible then. All right, I'm going. 
But that's another way on another day. But they want to condemn people. And they make you feel bad when you give. You just giving that man all your money, what you giving wine and all. You ain't giving me all your money. I had money when I came to the church to start it. When I first started perfected, I, I had saved for years. And the first offering I gave to perfect them was for ten thousand dollars. And I determined to be the highest giver in this church every year. He's getting so much money from the church. He's supposed to be the highest giver every year. But he's talking about no the amount of money that he, he gave. You know, no one should boast about the amount of money that they gave to the church. No one. It doesn't matter who you are. If you are the pastor, the overseer, the, the apostle, whosoever you are, you should not be boasting about the amount of money that you contribute or you give to the church. I determined to be the highest giver in this church every year. And one more thing. How can he know if he's the highest giver in the church every year? That simply means that they're keeping records of the amount of money that the members are giving. Or he can calculate all of that money for the entire year that was given. If it was a million dollar for the year that was given, he have to give more. 1.5 mil, 1 point whatever mil to be the highest giver. And that is something that they shouldn't do. They shouldn't um, keep a record of the amount of money individuals, members that are coming to the church during their tithes. They should not be keeping a record of that. All of that, people throwing their tithes, that should be with them, between them and God. And if they don't want to throw their tithes, then they have to take it up with God. But yes, people are supposed to throw their tithes. But to keep a record of all of these things, um, you got to mark the register to know that I throw my offering. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. That part of it should be, be, should be between you, the member, and God. Because at the end of the day, God sees all. God knows all. Her one man, I, I work. I got seven children. I work. And I don't, I don't take nothing from the church. Well, you don't know the Bible then. All right, I'm going. Well, that's another way on another day. But they want to condemn people. And they make you feel bad when you give. You just giving that man all your money, what you giving wine and all. You ain't giving me all your money. I had money when I came to the church to start it. When I first started perfected, I, I had saved for years. And the first offering I gave to perfect them was for ten thousand dollars. And I determined to be the highest giver in this church every year. Now, y'all help me. Thank you. Thank God. Bless you. But before, it was about three, four, five years before I ever took a salary. And then I made sure it was down. And then we have a board that, that governs that. So I, I don't have a problem talking about money because I ain't stole a dime. I ain't tricked nobody out of nothing. I have made up something that I, you, you talking to the wrong preacher now. But I'm not afraid of money. The reason I'm not afraid of it, read that text again, sir. The rich man's wealth if it's strong city. You ought to be tired of being so weak. No, as he have said, he started to get paid some years after he came in. Right? And every year he tries to be the highest giver. No, 
only thing he had to do was don't accept any money for preaching the gospel and then he would automatically become the highest giver no he couldn't do that you know why because as you said earlier that the apostles in the scriptures the man or the men that work for god they left their jobs they le they left their jobs so this is what he did he left his job right so that's the reason why he had to accept pay he had to accept a salary or he had to ask for a salary from the church whatever however way it came no enough of him let's listen to the apostle pastor gina jennings that does not take a salary for preaching the word of god listen to this when you are scripturally illiterate uneducated on the things of god any old heckle and jackal can come and said the lord said this and the lord said that <clears throat> what makes people gravitate to it because when they hear the lie they don't know it's a lie right. but when they hear what the preacher said thus saith the lord it sounds so good to them they wish it was true that's right and if you notice the lord according to the mouths of these liars always said mm -hmm. you're gonna get rich that's right yeah. it's all over africa all over america all over canada all over europe all over South America, out of every ethnic group, there's a false prophet that's preaching wealth. That's right. One false prophet in, uh, here in America said when you hear a man preach against wealth, it's because he don't have none. Oh, really? Oh, really? Really? In the book of St. Matthew 26 and verse 11. Let's see what Jesus preached. For ye have the poor always with you. Yes. But me ye have not always. Yes. For in that she hath poured this ointment You know, my Jesus body. preached to the apostles, strive not to be rich. Right. So you mean to tell me if someone preached against him? That mean uh, they don't have no money? No. God can make a man rich, but when God make a man rich because his heart is so sanctified, he's still going to preach it in keeping with God's word. Labor not to be rich. Listen at this in the prophets. Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 4. Look at Brother Solomon. Here's a rich man preaching it. That's right. A rich man preaching it. Yeah, man. That's right. A rich man. He's old false prophet said, if a man preach against riches, it's because he's not. That's a lie. Amen. Solomon was rich and didn't ask for it. That's right. God made him rich. That's right. I mean with land and houses and wealth. wealth. But he still died a fool. Proverbs chapter 23 and verse oh, 4. Oh, says Solomon died a fool? Yes. Yes, he did. Thank God the strange women took his heart away from God. That's right. Thank God in everything he tore down, they made him build it back up. That's right. And the scripture says if you build up again the things you destroy, you make yourself a transgressor. Amen. Listen at this now. Proverbs 23 and verse 4. What the Holy Ghost said. Labor not to be rich. Don't work to be rich. Cease from thine own wisdom. Cease from your own ideology wilt thou set thine eyes upon that which is not would you set your eyes upon that which is not for riches certainly make themselves riches wings. make themselves wings they fly away they, they get away from you as an eagle toward heaven i want to say i never seen riches fly they fly every second of the day that's right they fly away from me the moment that rich man die his riches gone that's right that's right are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. Viewers, viewers and hell bound watchers. Amen. You mean to tell me all this religious trash that is circulating around the world? 
You're not scripturally educated to be able to decipher, yeah. to differentiate oh, yeah. the sound of God from the sound of the devil. That's right. The sound of God is wrapped 100% in scripture. They have a saying here. It says, who the cap fit, let them wear it. And it is obvious that the cap fits Mr. Marvin Winans here. It definitely fits him. That's the reason why he's wearing it. He had to say something because he know that what the apostle said goes for him. Now, don't be surprised, brothers and sisters. Don't be shocked because you're going to hear many and many more men saying who say that their preachers come out saying things about the apostle remember that td jakes is on a mission and he wants to get as many of his friends his false preachers you know man that is cut from the same cloth like him to join him in trying to bring the apostle down remember that don't forget that so we're gonna see lots and lots more false preacher come out saying a lot of things that the apostle preaches up preach about is uh, not right or is wrong or whatever reason that they give for for saying whatever they come out saying now please remember to like share and subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell that you be notified whenever i upload a new video that's it from us here thanks for watching until next time peace with